Okay, let's read this question together. If f of x equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 9, which statement regarding the vertex form of f of x is true? Okay, so which of these statements is true? Now, the first thing I'd like to do with you is let's go ahead and find the vertex. Okay, do you remember what the x value of the vertex is, the formula for it? The x value of the vertex is what? So, negative b over 2a, that's the x value of your vertex, which is also your axis of what? Axis of symmetry, okay? Now, once we know the x value, we can plug it back in the equation to get the what? The y value. So let's do that, okay? So let's do negative b over 2a to get our axis of symmetry. Now, let's write down a, b, and c. So a equaled, was it 2? Mm -hmm. 2. Okay, b is negative 8. B is negative 8, and C is what? 9. Nine. So we know A, B, and C. We're not solving this, but we want to know what the axis of symmetry is. So it's going to be negative B over 2 times A, which is 8 over what? Four. Which is 2. So your axis of symmetry is 2, okay? And so our vertex is at the point 2-something, Right? How do we find out the y value of the vertex? Yeah, calculate f of 2, which means plug 2 into the function. So I've got f of 2 equals 2 times 2 squared minus 8 times 2 plus 9. And so right here I have 2 squared, which is, say 4. 4 times 2 is? 8, so that right there is 8, so I'm going to write 8, and then negative 8 times 2 is negative 16, plus what? 9, and so here I have negative 8 plus 9, which equals 1. So our vertex is at the point 2, 1, okay? Now let's look at our function. What is the leading coefficient? Is that a positive 2 or a negative 2? And since it's positive, we know that our parabola opens up which way? Upward. Upward, not downward. So my vertex, my vertex is right here. Right there where my vertex is, is that a minimum or a maximum? It is a minimum. So since our leading coefficient is positive 2, we know our parabola opens which way? Upward. Upward. And our vertex is right here where the parabola changes direction, right? So we know that this is a what? It's a minimum. So our function here is not going to have a max. It is going to have a what? A minimum. Say a minimum. Okay, and you can see in all these it says, therefore it has a minimum. 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 Now your minimum is always going to be how high or low the graph is. Okay. So, which of these numbers, 2 or 1, tells you how high or low it is? 1 does, right? The 2 tells you to go right 2. The 1 tells you to go what? Up, say up 1. And so we're going to have a minimum value of 1, right? And so we know right there, A is our answer. Now, look at, in vertex form, we know that whatever makes the inside 0 is the X value. So we know that it's 2. And then we know that it's what? One. One. And so the answer has to be A. Okay? What you do is you take whatever's in the parentheses, X minus 2, and you set it equal to 0. Add 2 on both sides. And so your axis of symmetry is 2, right? And so when it's in vertex form, that gives you the axis of symmetry. And then whatever the number is right there is your output, your Y value, right? And so we know we have a minimum value at 1, right? And we know that, uh, that the vertex form is this one because we calculated the vertex form. Now let's review. What was the formula for the x value in the vertex? Right, x equals negative b over 2a. And y'all need to memorize that. 
The axis of symmetry of a parabola is negative b over what? 2a. 2A.